Holly Haber, and our wonderful videographer is Julie Metz. And we own a blog called Stuffed in the Middle, which features savory and sweet snacks that are stuffed in the middle. So today, we are going to make little mini pies, and I'm going to show you how to prepare them in our muffin tin. So, to begin with, we purchase, oops, we'll stop it. So today we'll start with a prepared pie crust that I just purchased on a refrigerated section of the grocery store. Um, this contains a bottom layer and a top layer, so two individual um, pie crusts in the center that are pre-wrapped. I've already rolled one out and used it for some pies that I have in the oven. And then I'm going to go ahead and get the base part of our pie. So I needed a container to cut out our pie uh, bottoms. Um, and the only thing I could find in my cupboard that was large enough, four inches across, oh, excuse me, four inches across, um, was this World of Warcraft a cup. So that's what we'll be using today. You can find anything in your house that's four inches. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press it down into the pie crust like a biscuit cutter and then just rotate it back and forth and then you get a nice circle. I went a little bit off there but it'll work. Then you're going to take it and stretch it just a tiny bit and then press it gently down into your cup. Your thumbs tend to work a little bit better because they don't get, your fingernails don't get into the pie crust. And then have a little bit of a lip of the pie there. And I have some air bubbles, so I'm gonna just let those out. So there you go. So next we're gonna fill our bottom layer of pie crust with our blueberry filling. And of course we've amended some canned filling um, to taste marvelous. And you can find that recipe at www.stuffedinthemiddle.com. Um, and then there'll be a link to this video too. We'll just put this right into the muffin cup, lined with the pie crust. And we're gonna overfill it just a little bit because we want that nice mound when you're done with your pie. So we'll show you just one for the moment and we'll go from there. So now we're working on the top part of our pastry crust. And I pulled out the second layer of pie dough and I'm just gonna roll it out. This is thawed out of the uh, refrigerator for about 20 or 30 minutes, so it's nice and pliable. And now we're gonna make a lattice top for this pie. So you need a straight edge and I'm using a silver tray that I got at the dollar store. So I'm just gonna turn this over and you can use a pizza cutter or a really sharp knife. I happen to have a really sharp knife, so I'm just gonna make straight cuts along our pie dough here. Oops, this sat for a little too long. It's not staying together as well. I'm gonna move it over again, and I'm just gonna cut this straight down. And you want these about a half uh, inch wide, maybe a quarter to a half, but just try to make them the same size if you can. And I'm going to keep going along here and finish this whole pie dough. So we'll be right back with you. So one of my pieces here, you can see I've cut it and I've put it over here to the side. It stretched when I was trying to cut it. It means the pie dough is a little bit too soft and pliable. So I'm going to pop this in the refrigerator and then I'm going to pull it back out in about maybe 10 minutes and I'm going to do it again and finish the rest of this. So I've gone ahead and I pulled my pie crust out and finished making my, um, my pieces of pie here to, for my lattice. But as you can see, we had some mistakes, but it's okay. You want to reserve your mistakes over to the, the side here because we're going to use those in making the lattice part of the pie. So what I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna do about, use this much of our pie crust right now to use, uh, to make the lattice because then we're just gonna cut out the lattice once we're done to put right on top of our mini pie. So first we're gonna take and about every other one, we're gonna pull them down like this and we are gonna weave 
in between here. So I folded them in half, and then I'm taking the short pieces that I made mistakes on, and I'm gonna stretch them so they fit right in here. Now, I'm gonna put these back, and I'm gonna take the opposite ones, and I'm gonna pull those down over what I've already weaved in there. And I'm gonna continue to do this until I get up to the top. Oh, and that's my dog wanting to get back in. So we'll take a break here and then show you how we've come along. So now I'm still going ahead and doing my lattice back and forth, pulling them back, and then taking the next row and pulling it over what I just laid down horizontally. And now this is pulling it down vertically. And I'm taking my pieces over to the side here, stretching them just a little bit, putting them right here, and then pushing back what I've just had flipped over. So now I'm gonna alternate, I'm gonna go the next ones, all the way down, and I'm taking another piece of pie dough and flipping it back, and it doesn't have to be perfect on the edges, because we're just gonna be cutting those off. I'm gonna stretch these ones so maybe I can get a little bit more out of them. And this'll be our final, final row. And we have a nice basket weave here, as you can see. And then I, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna press this down and kind of push it together, press it down, so it stays together when it's baking. And it stays together when we cut it out with the cookie dough cutter, which is our cup, and it'll stay in one piece. So now I'm gonna just set this down, push really hard and twist back and forth. And then I'm going to take it up and look, we've got a nice, nice lattice there. So I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to place it, be gentle because it might come undone on the edges. I'm going to place it right on top of our already prepared and filled mini pie. So it looks super cute, but we are going to put an edge on that so our filling doesn't pop out the side. So I just go around and I pinch together with my fingers here around the edges. And I'm gonna turn it as I go, not too far into my pie, just gently pinching, putting them next to each other and squashing down. And the last one. So now we're ready for our last step, and that is just brushing some milk right on the top of our mini pie to give it a nice golden brown color and a nice uh, glaze, so to speak. Just right on the top, not too much, just over the edge. And we have a blueberry pie here, um, but you can make any pie this way. And I think it looks super cute. It looks almost like a sunflower. It's perfect for those warm summer afternoons or right after dinner and um, everybody gets their own piece of pie and none of the filling is spilling out all over. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of this Wilton Sprinkle Sparkling Sugar and I'm just gonna put it right over, not on the crust so much as right in the center to give it a pretty glamorous look there. So, and a little extra sweetness. So, we're gonna pop it in the oven now for about 15 minutes at 425 and then you should have the perfect pie. Thanks.